So I have an expression here, 3 times the entire expression, 5x plus 6, and then plus the expression 7x plus 2, and all of that times 4. And what I encourage you to do is pause this video and see if you can simplify this expression. And I'll give you a hint, you're going to have to do some distribution and then some combining of like terms. All right, now I'm assuming you've had a go at it. Now let's, let's work through this together. So as I mentioned, when I see this 3 times the entire expression 5x plus 6, I want to distribute that 3. So I want to multiply that 3 times 5x and that 3 times the 6. So 3 times 5x, well if I have 5x's and I have 3 times that, I'm going to have 15x's. And then 3 times 6 is 18. So this part of the expression we have now Simplified to 15x plus 18. Now let's do the next part. So here I have, I have this larger expression written before this 4, but I want to do the same thing. I just want to distribute the 4. It doesn't matter whether I'm multiplying, if I have the 3, if I have the number on the left side or on the right side. So let's distribute this 4. I want to do 4 times 7x, and I want to do 4 times 2. 4 times 7x, well that's going to be 28x. 28x, and then 4 times 2 is going to be 8. So we're almost there. This part of our expression has simplified to 28x plus 8. And now we can combine, we can combine similar terms. So we have 15x's, and then we can add that to 28x's. So if I had 15, let me do this in a different color. If I have 15 of something, and I add 28 of something, of that same something to it, well then I'm going to have, what, 43x's. So 43x's. 15x plus 28x's, I added the coefficients there. That's going to be 43x's. And then 18 plus 8. Hey, let me do this in a new color. So 18 plus 8 is going to be 26. And we're done. We've simplified this longer expression. We did some distribution, then we combined some terms to get 43x plus 26.